I could tell you that leadership isn't for some famous foreigner or for some posh guy from history on a horse, but it's for anyone who doesn't want the comfort of being a victim, anyone who wants choice. I could tell you that the balance for this is acceptance, which isn't losing, but the courage to face what is. When all human suffering comes from the ability to not face up to what is uncomfortable in ourselves and what is uncomfortable in others that reminds us of ourselves. I could tell you that stress is just a way of talking about unhappiness, about how our society is making us sick, how it is making us isolated, and phrases like employee engagement wouldn't be necessary if work still had meaning for most. I could tell you that what we value is where we spend our time and our money, so don't bullshit me with your mission statement. I could tell you that the greatest miracle in the unknowable universe is that you're aware right now and there is nothing more spiritual in India than you'll find in your family's living room. I could tell you this, but I won't. I could tell you that the first time you walk over a half-dead homeless guy on the way to dinner, you feel upset and you want to help, but by the tenth time you just want to get to dinner and you don't care. I could tell you that the hundredth time my dad was brought home drunk, covered in puke and piss, that I stopped giving a damn. And the first time I punched him in the face, it felt like a kiss. I could tell you that I learned to fear late night phone calls and people that were meant to teach me. I could tell you that I learned more from people that had been raped and abused and people who had killed and done the abusing than from any classroom. I could tell you that I was saved by the soft arms of beautiful women and redemption is given away freely. But I won't. I could tell you that the most brave, extreme sport anyone can ever do is base jumping into emotion and the body and to intimacy. I could tell you that work isn't the opposite of play and without purpose we are anybody's fool. I could tell you that the cult of being exceptional is making us all mediocre and the most dangerous drugs are television, celebrity and cynicism. I could tell you that love is both the preface and the epilogue of life and that Colonel Kurtz was right that the middle word in life is if. I could tell you that time is our most precious commodity and there's also no rush whatsoever. I could tell you that it takes 17 muscles to frown, but don't worry, one day our flesh will be eaten by worms or burnt from our skin and our skulls will grin for free. I could tell you that maturity is holding two contradictory views and loving more than the people that our parents accidentally associated us with. I could tell you that anyone is certain builds Auschwitz sooner or later, so take all this with a pinch of salt and rebellion and insolence. I can tell you that anyone who questions will not be allowed to inherit the earth, but they will inherit themselves, and that is much more valuable. I could tell you that love is all that matters, that love is strength, that love is wisdom, and love has no enemy except fear and not throwing oneself off the cliff of caring. I could tell you that the human soul is alive and well, despite every effort to murder it, to suppress it, to deny it. I could tell you that telling you was a waste of time, that telling anyone was a waste of time, anything, that we still have free thinking minds, still beating hearts, so uh, let's not tell each other. I could tell you that ego and opinion wars are killing us and that silence cannot be improved upon. I won't tell you to think for yourself, to feel for yourself, we're all burning bright enough, so I won't.